Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Spiral tool. It's a new tool uh, in the Embroidery Studio E4 program and I'm going to show you the different ways that you can use it including uh, what uh, tools to use in order to create that fill stitch. Now here uh, as I navigate up top here is the spiral fill. I'm going to just select it by left clicking on it and I'm going to navigate over um, I can also go in and uh, create a fill, fill stitch for this by going in and navigating and clicking on and digitizing the close shape here as I left click it. I'm just going to go on screen. I'm going to left click at 12 o'clock here. Okay, I'm going to right click here at 9 o'clock. I'm going to right click here at 6 o'clock. I'm going to right click here at 3 o'clock and I'm going to press enter and that's going to activate it and uh, that's what the spiral fill looks like on screen. Now you do have the option to go into the properties and adjust and change the settings for this fill stitch also just by navigating over. With the properties uh, the, it the item has to be selected first and as you go to your object properties here it tells you that you're on the spiral fill. Um, I can adjust the spacing by going here highlighting this uh, option and let's say I'm going to type in 4.0 and press enter. And so you can see by increasing that number, uh, it uh, increases the spacing here and adds spacing uh, between the stitches here. Now, uh, you can also change the length of the stitch here as well. And, um, and so that's how you can go in and you can set it up and use this fill type here. You can also go in, um, if I click on my ellipse tool, I can click on the screen and pull this out. If I press my uh, control key it will let me do a perfect circle and I'll left click here and then I'll press my enter tab here. Okay, Again that's with the option here selected inside the uh, software and again you can do some very very nice fill types here with this. Um, I'm gonna navigate I'm gonna click on my select tool and I'm gonna click on the first one here and I'm going to do a. I'm going to press Control plus D as in dog on the keyboard. So I added a second one here. And for this one, I'm going to navigate down. I'm going to click on a different color. And I'm also going to go in here and I'm going to change the spacing for this one to 2.0. And so you can see how uh, that looks here by adding uh, another uh, object here and just changing the density on the fill here with this one. So again, uh, this is what you have the option to go in and, and adjusting. And this is what it looks like. That is your spiral fill. If I select it um, and I press or navigate over here to the reshape tool, um, this is what the reshape looks like. I can click on uh, a node point and move it out like this to change the shape of my item so you have that option too. Uh, so again this is how you can use the fill. Even if you have a different fill type here if I have a uh, complex fill stitch as I navigate down here I'm going to left click on my vector tool and I'm going to click here on my ellipse tool and I'm going to click on the screen press my control key down and hold it I'm going to left click here and I'm going to press enter. So if I select uh, my complex fill and left click it here on my screen I can still go in and uh, tag this as a uh, spiral fill just by selecting the fill that I want to change and navigating up top and clicking on the spiral that'll do it also thank you very much for joining me as always we ask that you join us at www.willcomeamerica.com thank you very much